Chicano Batman has been releasing albums for 10 years. They're mostly known for a blend of Latin and psychedelic soul music. But I'm in the future now. But they say that working on their latest record, Invisible People, was a completely new experience. I feel like maybe without noticing, we kind of got complacent and it was kind of like pushing us to try different things. Like what can we come up with without defaulting to those comfortable sounds we know? And this album is the result. You can see that result in the video for their new single, Blank Slate. It was pretty much the first song that we put together. Really? Yeah, I'm going way back, 2018, putting together demos and whatnot for this record. Bardo brought in the tune and like, if you hear the, the song, it has like this underlying like drum machine beat. The past is done with. And I just started playing like some kind of like kind of a funk guitar chord, kind of in line with something like now Rogers would play. I was just doing something like this. Keeps it chugging along. It was just an approach I had never tried before on an album of ours. So that was exciting. I'll be real with you. We got a little bit of pushback about this record. You have, yeah. Being a Latino and making music means you have to make a certain style of music, you know? And that's cool, but I think uh, at the end of the day, we're artists, we're musicians, and we want to grow and progress our art. Yeah, we do feel the weight of it, you know? Because a, a lot of Chicanos are looking up at us, you know? And, and, and we feel you, but we're also like, you know, we are who we are as artists you know everybody in the band put their 200 percent in making this record so you best believe you know we're, we're trying to represent you know us it's interesting to watch some of the that pushback that you were saying because i wonder even who is it coming from is it coming from people who are just nah man y'all got to represent us and this is how you should represent us or is it also from people who are like i like y'all in this box and I'd much rather you stay in that box. And I just think people just need to have an open mind. We're exploring and we're having fun with it. Dexter, you said boxes. Yeah, 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 let's get into it. Chicano Batman, that name itself is trying to rip the box up, bro. Mm. Chicano Batman, what is that? You're combining this identity, cultural identity of Mexican-Americans, right? Now you have Batman and you bring the two together. That's like American pop culture meets this identity. Just us naming ourselves that, for me, it was always like a cultural uh, project. It's like putting out an idea to the world. Now, how are you guys going to take it? I want to get to one thing that we were, we were chatting about before we jumped on live, actually. Tell me about the album artwork. So this is the record. So a lot of people think that this is uh, a painting. and It's not. It's a photo from a South Korean artist named Rala Choi. And Rala Choi was, is just this amazing photographer that I found just perusing through Pinterest late at night when we were looking for a, a, an artist to work with. I found this guy, brought it to the band, and everybody liked his style. But it didn't seem like it was really touchable considering he lived in South Korea and didn't speak English. But me and Bardo were very persistent. So I just went to good old Instagram, DM'd him, and I Google translated it in Korean. <laughs> and he wrote me back and he was like, I'll check out your music. Whoa. And then he hit me back like a day later. He's like, I love your music. This is amazing. And he understands the plight of being Latino in the US, especially during this time. And so there's overtones of that in how he interpreted uh, the record and developed the artwork. His style is just amazing. And we were just so blessed to make it happen. You said something fascinating to me. You said you said he gets what Latinos, that, that situation in L.A. Please expand on that because that, that's an interesting statement. Yeah, I guess he did his research or I guess it just shows you like how how far like, you know, the, the news cycle gets to, to South Korea where they're finding out, oh, Latinos are getting caged up at the border in El Paso. Latinos are the scapegoat for everything the Trump administration, you know, dislikes about immigrants, etc. He explained it like in his outline. I've read about what is going on with Latinos in the U.S. and I'm developing this art, you know, taking that into consideration. So, I mean, people ask me, what does the cover mean? It means certain things for me. But like I said, we chose it because it was it felt very subjective and 
it, it meant something to him and it could mean whatever you want it to mean, you know, that's that's the kind of art we were hoping to achieve with this. Mm-hmm.